ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you so much for joining us for our Monday weather update for November the 21st. And it's welcome back to the windy westerlies of spring. They're about to roar back across New Zealand and some parts of Australia. Let's take a look at the animated wind map. So here come the windy westerlies after we've had all those mild uh, north to northeasterlies, although not mild for everybody, but we've had that airflow pushed away and now the westerlies return. We've got a colder southerly or southwesterly coming into the southeastern corner of Australia. That's going to fade away in the coming days, but spread over to New Zealand. And low pressure zones down here in the Southern Ocean are also going to come up close to New Zealand. So this is going to be a pretty unsettled week around the New Zealand area, while Australia's um, a little bit more uh, patchy. There's some areas of, of big calm and a large high pressure zone way out here to the west. And up in the tropics, I got a, a comment on YouTube the other day, why are you not talking about the tropics? Uh, for the same reason I'm not talking much about Brisbane at the moment. There's just not much going on up in this part of the map. Most of the energy around Darwin, Perth, and certainly in the southeastern corner of Australia and right across New Zealand for the week coming up. So let's kick off with where the thunderstorms are at the moment. Certainly been plenty of them around uh, New Zealand over the last couple of days, especially the North Island, but the Lower South Island had them yesterday as well. As we recorded this mid-morning, pretty calm around the country, but we've still got these thunderstorms that are tracking towards New Zealand. They won't stay looking exactly like that. They've been changing around a fair bit, but there's still a fair bit of um, instability, if you like, out there in the Tasman Sea. And the other areas to keep an eye on around the northern part of Australia, mostly northern territories, have got plenty of thunderstorms up there as well. Here's the three day rainfall for New Zealand. The bulk of that rain on the west coast, well over 100 millimetres on the way there. In fact, there could be 150 millimetres or more around that area. And in the North Island, another drenching coming through these central and western areas with about 45 to 80 millimetres on the way for you. Uh, and the north and the eastern areas, they're looking dry. In fact, especially Canterbury, you're looking the driest. But so too is Hawke's Bay. Uh, at least you get a couple of um, spillover thunderstorms as we've seen over the weekend. Now, Australia, you've, this is your three-day rainfall outlook. Uh, the bulk of that rain up around between Broome and Darwin, between the Northern Territories and Western Australia, and just a few showers really down here and along the northeastern side. But the wind is the main feature, and this is for this afternoon. This is uh, three o'clock local time around Melbourne. You can certainly see blustery conditions, gales through Bass Strait, gales through the mountains, and around Sydney, gusting to gale force at times. But let's have a look at what happens on Tuesday. That windy weather from Australia starts to move out into the Tasman Sea, and we've got a windy uh, Tuesday on the way for much of the country. It's a nor'wester. There'll be isolated thunderstorms because out here is a cold change ahead of it mild nor'westers. It'll be a warm day for eastern areas, especially in the North Island where it'll be sunnier than the south. You've got plenty of rain clouds on the west coast there. And we just mentioned the gale force winds. There'll be potentially severe gale around parts of Tasmania and maybe coastal parts of Victoria. And hello to anyone who is living on Phillip Island. What a great name for an island. Let's go to Wednesday. Now the windy weather moves into New Zealand. This is at nine o'clock in the morning. So uh, very similar to Australia, we've just got a, a line of westerlies coming through. Uh, Cook Strait's got some strong winds and around Auckland blustery as well, getting up around gale force, just sort of hovering around it. But probably the windiest weather will be down here in the lower part of the North Island and the calmest weather through central Otago. Let's fast forward to lunchtime on Wednesday and you can see all of that windy weather blowing through. So we've got gales and severe gales in a number of places. This is classic weather for this time of the year. November can be a very windy month. Um, to some degree, it's still the middle of spring. Spring doesn't really fade out uh, the weather pattern that is until about the end of December. So seeing this kind of weather around is, is fairly normal, but I say fairly normal because the low pressure zones down here are going to add a little bit more oomph to this whole system. So by the time we get to Thursday, you've got this storm just off the coastline of the South Island, away from Otago Peninsula, and that's going to encourage a windy southerly and your temperatures do take a bit of a drop. It's not a major winter blast, but your daytime highs on Thursday around Southland and Otago will be between about 11 degrees and 13 or 14. So it's not 
brutal, but it's also not very flash as well. And yes, there'll be snow on the mountains and ranges of the South Island, not so much into the North Island. And look at the big high stretching out across Australia on Thursday and on Friday as well. It keeps this whole eastern side fairly settled. But as we go through in New Zealand, still unsettled on Friday, southwesters blowing through the North Island will be a little bit cooler, not much, and we've still got showers, but long dry spells for those of you in the east. So really, the big change this coming week is that we've had a lot of La Nina-like weather. This is nothing like La Nina. This is just normal spring westerlies blowing through. And speaking of La Nina, I'm sorry those in the tropics, nothing to really talk about, just a few isolated downpours here and there. And our final map on Saturday shows, uh, well, a few more downpours sort of lining up, but mostly out at sea. Vanuatu is pretty much the only area caught up in that. Much of Australia is dry. A little bit of a change coming through for the southeastern corner again, a nor'wester followed by the windy westerlies. But on the New Zealand side, the winds take a bit of a break on Saturday. Not as windy uh, for most places, although still a bit breezy through Auckland and a few coastal areas of Northland, otherwise far more settled. But again, we could be seeing a few afternoon downpours uh, arriving and the forecast for the rest of November looks unsettled. We're not really in a big high pressure zone, not yet anyway. Summer's not here yet. It kicks off on December 1st on the what we call the meteorological calendar. But if you really look at the way the weather patterns move and shift around, Spring's with us really right through December most years in New Zealand anyway. That is all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next update.